Hey everybody, Case here. Welcome back to the 2019 Valentine's Update in The Simpsons Tapped Out. We're going to be starting Act 3, but before we do that, Lloyd Lad's latest batch of Valentine's Donuts. So there's a whole bunch of bonuses. You spend, you spend, the more you spend, the more you get. All right, dudes and dudettes, it is time to slash up some Valentine's cards, starting with this one. Hey, that has my name on it. Bart doesn't have an I in it, but if it did, I'm sure it would have been dotted with a heart. Look, Snake, I'll give you an action-packed story. Just leave my card alone. I forgot he was going to cut all the cards up. That was originally what was happening. Meglisa perpetually roll her eyes at Bart's story. Bart tells a story from the future. Alright! <laughs> Get bent. So it's going to be four hour quest for both of them, I think. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, that's how we do Linda. things in Springfield! Bart to another future intro. It was 10 years in the future. Or should I say, it will be. But it never was good at grammar. Or will be. Anyway, technology had finally caught up with what they thought the future would be like in the 1980s. We had laser guns, holograms, and time travel. That's where I come in, narrating my future as a time cop. Oh wait, the text bubble has that thing on top now. I mean, my present as a time cop. You'll never stop me, copper, until I screw up all the timelines. Bart Chase Fugitive. Collect Hollow Valentines. Let's back it up a bit. Reach level 12 and build Bart's treehouse. Bart Chase the Fugitive. Collect Hollow Valentines and then... Yeah, that's all she wrote for the first one. Hello. So we got four hour quests and it's animated. Okay. Cool. And these are all different characters, but they're all kind of busy. Give me a second. In terms of the inventory though, let's see what we got. We've got Nikki that comes through the Springfield Skate Park for 150 donuts. I want that character. I like the skate park. Look for that probably tomorrow actually. And to continue on, I think it's, that's the only item that we have that's new. For the other prizes, that looks like the futuristic tunnel. You know when they go into the tunnel and it like teleports them to the other side and then Bender's in there and Bender gets thrown on the road and he breaks into a million pieces. That says plastic something, something stationary. It's so tiny, I can't see it. And we've also got a building and then we've got is it Jenna? Anyway, it's the same as the other acts. You just send the characters on the quest over and over every four hours. And when you do that, you're going to get the cards and everything else needed for each particular prize. And then when you get all the prizes, you are done. But remember, we do have one more act coming as well. It's not going to be three acts. It's going to be four acts. But yeah, I'll see you with the Nikki walkthrough tomorrow. 
and then I'll break this down into, I guess, each two prizes will be a video, and then in the final video it will be part six. So if you have enjoyed this very short, but I will also say educational video, sure, we'll put it that way, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Obviously, it'll let me know that you enjoyed what you saw. And if you're not subscribed, you love The Simpsons Tapped Out, I will be having the Nikki walkthrough tomorrow. And like I said, all these prizes as fast as I possibly can. And everything, always in the game. Whenever it comes out, new content, I'm always as fast as I possibly can to get on it. And I've been doing it since 2013. So thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.